Hey, in this video, you're going to learn about lead score by Zapier, which is one of my favorite sort of lesser known uh, things you can do with Zapier. I'm Jimmy from JimmyRose.me, and if you want to learn about uh, automating your business, Zapier, Active Campaign, just other cool tools that I find uh, so you can do less stuff, especially stuff that you shouldn't be doing, uh, please hit that subscribe button below. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in. Uh, this is lead score, uh, the actual uh, information page on Zapier. It doesn't give you a whole lot of information. There's literally one thing it does. It does a search for find person and company, company information. And I'll show you why this is pretty cool for us. I'm gonna show you an example of it in action. Um, you know, it's got a bunch of examples down here. It's talking about enriching data, which uh, if you're not familiar with like lead enrichment, it basically just means getting an email address or something and finding out more information about that email. So it might be, maybe you don't have their name. It, it, something will enrich it by finding their name or their company name or uh, how many staff they have. And that's the specific thing I really like lead scoring for. So um, I'll show you a bit about what it does. So here's a zap that I'm using. Uh, whenever I trigger it based on whenever someone signs up to our list. So it could be, uh, in this case, it's actually people that sign up for our software, Content Snare. Uh, it's typically for digital agencies that uh, want to get content from clients. And one of the uh, biggest indicators that they are going to be potentially a good client is how many staff they have. And uh, so that is why I have the second step here. Uh, which is just a straight lead score by Zapier. So when you set it up, you just search for lead score in here, pick lead score. Uh, there will be one, only one step, like I said, uh, continue. And it uh, feeds the email address, test at test.com in this case. Um, uh, this is uh, unfortunate because uh, for some reason, this uh, test, the testing of this step only ever pulls in dummy data, never real data. It's an active campaign thing. Um, but what I'll do, I'll show you in my task history the example of what this pulls out. But yeah, all I'm doing is grabbing the contact email address from that previous step. Pretty simple. Uh, and um, so when you do a test, this is going to be useless because it's a test domain. So I'm just going to jump over into my task history. So uh, I'm going to go on one of these success ones because I filtered a bunch of those. Uh, so this was the data in. So this was uh, somebody's email address. Uh, and then I'm going to go data out. And this is what actually comes back from lead score by Zapier. So um, it's got a bunch of signals, right? So employee count is 15. Uh, based in a country where GDP per capita is high. These are just text descriptions. I don't really bother with these. Um, I mean, it might help for you in your situation. Um, but so it tells you like tech found on their website, um, industries and all that sort of stuff, right? So if I go down, um, some more blurring there for uh, personal details, but uh, you can see that this person was in uh, Greater London. They're not a student. Um, properties i think that's probably looking at their domain uh it's got worked out what kind of industry they're in but the main one i'm interested in is uh this one number of employees right so they're in great britain so i could say you know if they're in one of my target countries and they have greater than uh, 20 employees do something uh, and that is exactly what i do so if i go back to here i actually filter uh whoops only continue if, uh, sorry, so I'm also filtering based on some active campaign stuff, but the main thing here is a number of employees that came from that find person step or the lead score step is greater than 10. And then what I do is I actually create a to-do item for myself uh, to manually check in with that person. I go and see how they want to use our tool. Um, and in this case, creating a bonjoro is sending them a personal video. So if you don't know, I got to do a whole nother video on bonjoro, but it is super cool. I'll put a link to it uh, below this video. Um, but yeah, so what it essentially does, it creates a video for me that says uh, there was a good size sign up from a certain country uh, with this many staff and uh, from the company name, I think that is. Let's see. 
in a oh, number of employees from country. And then um, I can, in Bonjour, I actually open the app and I can say something like, hey, Bob, uh, I just checked out such and such website. Uh, thank you so much for signing up. Uh, and, and ask them some very uh, questions about their business so they know it's a real, uh, you know, personal video for that I've just made for them. And the response from that is kind of crazy. So that's a really uh, awesome use of lead score. So if you, if a value metric for your business is how many staff someone has or their industry or their country, uh, you could filter out everyone that signs up uh, so that you can personally follow up with a select few, which is obviously uh, a bit easier than trying to dig through everyone manually. So yeah, uh, that is Lead Score by Zapier. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, please leave a comment below if you have any questions or yeah, just want any help. So uh, yeah, if you want some more help in automating your business, learning about Zapier and Active Campaign and doing less stuff, please hit that uh, big red subscribe button below or it should be showing up somewhere on this video. Uh, or head to jimmyrose.me to sign up for the newsletter. Awesome, I'll see you in the next video.